Hi and welcome back to cloudwoods.net. In this video, we'll talk about cloud storage solutions that work like an external hard drive. If that sounds interesting to you. Please stick with us in today's video. So traditional cloud storage services work in a way that they synchronize all your files locally to your computer so that when you do not have an internet connection, you can still access your files and edit your files locally on your machine. And then changes would be uploaded to the servers if uh, you have an internet connection again. This is the mechanic in which Dropbox works, in which Google Drive works, in which OneDrive works, and other cloud storage services as well. And this process is called file synchronization. Now, many of you guys have the question, but what if I actually do not want to synchronize files locally to my computer, but instead I want to expand or extend my local hard drive, my hard drive on my laptop that has just like a tiny SSD or something? Um, what, what solution can I use there? Because if I use Dropbox, well, I can pay for a terabyte of file synchronization space, but what if my hard drive only has 256 gigabytes? Um, if that's the case, well, obviously, you need to have the ability to store files online only. And we've already covered this topic um, in this channel and other videos. I will link to you to another video right here um, that discusses sync.com as one of those solutions where you can just store files um, in a vault. But today, I would like to have a look at another cloud storage service that has come to my attention lately and that is uh, a pretty good solution in that regard as well, which is called pCloud. And pCloud is, for one, interesting because it offers 20 gigabytes of free cloud storage space, and that is pretty generous, especially if you compare it to other cloud storage solutions like um, Dropbox, which only give two gigabytes, or um, even Google Drive, who give uh, 15 gigabytes. Uh, there is 20, 20 gigabytes still uh, stick out in a way, and you can do a lot of things with uh, 20 gigabytes. Now, um, I want to show you how pCloud works, and I will prepare an in-depth review on pCloud uh, for later this month, maybe, and I will upload it to this channel. But now, just a quick look into the feature um, that I want to discuss in this video that is expanding your local hard drive um, with cloud storage. So. For the purposes of this video, I installed pCloud on my computer. Um, in this video, I will use a Windows computer, although you can see a Macintosh computer here. I have a virtual machine installed on that computer, and I have already installed a pCloud, and I will show you how it works in a minute. So just give me company here on my computer, and uh, we'll see how it works. So as you can see here, um, on the, on the computer, I'm already uh, inside the Windows Explorer, and pCloud installs not as you would normally think as a synchronized folder, just uh, like you would be used to from Dropbox or other synchronization services, but it connects as a drive into uh, the file system. And that drive um, does not occupy space on your computer. So you could really access this like, like you could uh, any drive. You could uh, go into the properties and uh, actually see how much space is used. So um, we have the free space, 958 um, gigabytes, and used are 38 gigabytes. But for example, if you look at my, um, if you look at my local drive, um, this PC, PC here, and if we go to the C drive and go into the properties, you can see that this is only a, uh, a drive of uh, 100 gigabytes. Um, and we've already occupied 44 gigabytes of that drive. So what you're essentially doing is you're connecting an external hard drive here, um, but that's nowhere. That's not um, in your office. That's not in your home. It's uh, essentially in the cloud. So there are a couple of options uh, what you can do here. So you can, of course, say, well, let me just um, pick a couple of files here, and uh, I have created uh, some, some test files. And if I enter the test files folder, I could say, OK, I want to drag and drop all those files into, um, the, uh, into, the, shared, into the shared drive. 
So those files will be uploaded instantly um, to, to the cloud and you can access them right here, but you do not need a local copy of, um, of those files. And obviously then the storage space that you get will be reduced by the amount of files that you add to the cloud. So this is actually actually pretty neat. But of course, if you now interrupt the internet connection or if you're on a weak mobile connection, hmm, how do you get to your files? Well, pCloud has like a double, um, a, a double feature uh, where you can also add files to the pCloud sync folder. And files that are added to the pCloud sync folder, those will be the files that are then stored locally on your computer so that you can even access files um, if no internet connection is present. Now, this is one option um, that, you, that you have. And the beauty is you are not limited to one synchronization folder. You can open the pCloud um, P client and you can add new syncs, which means um, I can say, okay, I want to choose a local folder here in my computer. Let's say um, I want to sync, I don't know, the musics folder with my, with my, other, uh, with my other devices. So I could, do, uh, I could do that, I could select the musics folder and then uh, those files will be synced and made available offline to my other devices. And um, I can obviously also withdraw, stop the synchronization as well and uh, drill into the advanced settings like uh, excluding files of some sorts. So that is um, how you can actually free up some hard drive space with uh, pCloud um, as well. So if you don't like to pay for cloud storage, you get 20 gigabytes for free, which is pretty, uh, pretty generous. Uh, you can check our comparison chart on cloudwords.net where we compare other services with pCloud and how they, how they stack up with pricing and storage and so forth. There is another uh, service that comes to mind that offers the same drive um, feature, um, which is uh, OpenDrive. OpenDrive is also a service that we've reviewed here on the channel. You can find the video right here. And they do a similar thing. They connect to the Windows Explorer via a drive and you can either st um, stick your files into that drive that in turn do not occupy space on your computer or you can specify certain synchronization folders as well in the cloud. Now, OpenDrive is a lot more expensive, um, but they come with unlimited cloud storage. In my test though, I've experienced uh, a couple of speed issues with OpenDrive. So pCloud was a lot faster um, than, than OpenDrive. And uh, if you want to have additional security on your files, you can go for pCloud uh, Crypto, which costs $3.99 uh, per month, but that would encrypt your files locally before they're sent to the cloud and essentially add private encryption to your files, which makes it also a great uh, Dropbox alternative. So I really hope you found this video informative. And uh, if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions that uh, I shoot a video about uh, regarding uh, cloud apps, cloud storage, please leave a comment um, in this video and we're going to see us in the next one. Bye-bye.